hello welcome to the excited education channel the very important channel which shows you different modules about mathematics and biology now we are going to discuss about biology on the chapter called ariga so i would like to request each and everybody who is watching this video to make subscribe first comment like share by the way and just note what you want to tell us to discuss on the next session uh, in order to react on your comment it's your help so without wasting much of our time we are going to lash on our topic of today i'm teacher amy i would like to tell who one is watching this video to be attentive and correct his requirements to start the module as usual what is ariga ariga comprises different questions you can ask yourself different question on ariga like what is ariga i describe major groups or different methods of reproduction uh, illustration ecological and economic importance and the different answer and the different characteristics classes of ariga and even life cycle but now let us start on the introduction like considered as ancestor of plant do you know that so when you say ancestor it is the other origin of the plant it is where the plant originated let us see Aliga comprises different forms, but now I'm going to talk about four basic forms of Aliga. In those four basic forms includes unicellular Aliga, colonial Aliga, filamentous Aliga, and multicellular Aliga. What to think about these four forms? Let us tackle on by one by one and try to understand what it means. Start from unicellular alga, it's like simply means free living in aquatic. Just they live in aquatic. Or you can also call it a phytoplankton. As you know, phytoplankton are plants that they live in water. For instance, you can call cordiminus. So in colonial alga, as second form, we call it co consists of group of individual cells. Just have individual cells as you see in these pictures. They are in colonies, uh, if you know a colony. So this is the second type, and this includes volves. The third is called filamentous alga. Filamentous alga are multicellular alga. They have cylinder, rod shaped. It also comprises of cell joined end to end. These are called filamentous alga, and one example of filamentous alga is Psiplogella. So the last form is multicellular alga. Multicellular alga, it simply like looks like large in those three forms that we see, but also it's very complex to differentiate, and it often appear. It's also plant-like. These are the characteristics of Marcelo Ariga. And one example of Marcelo Ariga is called a seaweed. It's also an example of Marcelo Ariga. Note that a plant-like body portion of a seaweed is called talus. A major classes of photothetic pigment occur among Ariga. We are going to see the major classes of photosynthetic pigments occurred in among alga, where include chlorophylls, carotenoids, phycoblins, uh, at least of do, those two. And we are going to, to see also about different predominant type of pigment, where we find chlorophyta in greenish pigment, rhodophyta, it simply means red pigment and cyanophyta which is bluish 
dear students i think you have heard about these predominant types let us rush on the reproduction of ariga ariga comprises three type vegetative asexual and sexual let us talk on each and every type as i said many small ariga reproduce asexually by cell division or fragmentation a common ariga reproduced by spores where it is produced spores and those spores goes in stage and become mature those spores can be produced by monospore a pranospore zoospore and so on where monospore carries by water currents their germination produce new organism and a pronospora a green alga that produce non montero spores and those power be one or more flagella let us see the major groups of alga the icbn in short notes where in full word it's called a, a those company that name the living organism classify alga in groups based on they based at least three points one presence or absence of definitely organized nucleus second number kind of insertion or relative length of fragile also the chemical composition of cell wall those two points three points comprises in the icbn naming of the ariga into two into the different group icbn use certain suffix to group the ariga where phylum the add suffix phyta division add phycy class add iris and family add asia you can ask why cyanophytes were considered as ariga but known that they are not related to any ariga group this is the question you can ask asked by your teacher and then respond him or her just note in the comment if you have the answer of this question i will respond to you i'll just discuss on this let us then rush on the prokaryotic ariga where prokaryotic ariga and what is prokaryotic ariga simple they are simplest of the ariga not true ariga there is no nucleus no chloroplast cell wall composition is similar to bacteria those prokaryotic ariga have the cell wall composition similar to bacteria so photosynthetic apparatus made of thyroid are lamella those are characteristics of prokaryotic ariga uh, widely distributed over land and water the prokaryotic ariga are distributed in over land and water like cyanobacteria so provide opportunity for evolution of more complex oxygen reliant organism these cyanobacteria just produce opportunity for evolution of more complex uh, oxygen reliant organism this is also called a prokaryotic ariga so most cyanophytes contain chlorophyll you know so and it also contains the protein called phycobrins this phycobrin it is given it gives the cell a typical blue green to grayish brown color also you can ask yourself what is solitary cell and what is coronal cell the cell remain attached by the cell wall or are held in a common gelatinous matrix form colony so dear students let us rush on nutrition of ariga generally ariga are autotrophics some are heterotrophic due to their specific ecology example spirulina oscillatoria so if we say autotrophic autotrophic simply means 
they make their own food and to traffic they depend on other living organism so let us go the, on ecology of ariga ariga live in aquatic environment you can find any ariga that not not live in aquatic environment wet ground which is very wet thermal springs even the ariga that live in summer spring are uh, in a very cold or very warm water you can also find ariga in very cold water and warm water in marine water and locks so let us talk about the importance of ariga the ecological and economical importance cyanophysite associate with bacteria and destroy rocks you know cyanophysite is the one of the ariga if associated with the bacteria they can destroy rocks used in the destruction of rocks they also destroy morusca shells you know the the morusca have shells those shells in order to be destroyed cyanophysite associated with the bacteria they are a component of dolomitic limestone also limestone composed of ariga many protozoic oil deposit at attribute to activity activity of cyanobacteria those prote protozoic oil also deposit comprises also the cyanobacteria so let us see cyanophysite furnishes food for fish you know fish depends on also on aquatic plants and also include ariga also symbiotic of protozoa you know that the ariga also is the symbiote of the protozoa it increases the fertility of soil by fixing atmospheric nitrogen you know that ariga if in soil fixes the atmospheric nitrogen to increase the fertility of the soil also tractors human consume even you know that ariga like act as a food for human being like spirulina it contains vitamins and minerals amino acid antioxidants and essential fatty acid this is the components of the spirulina even though the ariga have the positive effect also it have the negative effect one of the negative effect includes contaminated water ariga contaminates water you know its greenish or its pigment can affect in the color of water and change the color so the second one in case green blue ariga brooms the dead and decaying ariga can deduce oxygen level in water cause stress or death to the aquatic animals if the ariga like green ariga or green blue ariga they deduce the level of oxygen in the water so let us talk about the types of fragile morphology or groups here it includes at least four one is acronematic steconematic second third animatic and pleonematic those are the types of fragile morphology in the ariga so thank you for watching me i would like to request to make subscribe comment share and like to follow the next session hi welcome on the excited education channel i'm teacher amy i wish you the best the best in all the best thank you enjoy your next lesson